Hello everybody, and today we're talking about addiction to stress, struggle, sadness, or any kind of negative emotion. So this came up in a recent Theta Healing session where it was revealed that I did have an addiction to struggle or fighting, and it was related to like this lifetime, but also past lifetimes. It came up that I had like a warrior archetype of a soul, which I didn't really realize. And yeah, so my soul had gone through a lot of lifetimes of fighting and being a warrior and almost felt like bored if there wasn't like a struggle or a fight. And that was particularly illuminating to realize that. And after like we released that, I felt like a very deep sense of peace, um, like a sense of like I wasn't need, didn't need to like strive for something, like I was good, peace was good. Um, and it was, yeah, it was very freeing. So if you also want to look at it from a physiological standpoint, you know, um, for example, with stress, it's like our body becomes used to the adrenaline pathway. It uses it over and over and over again, and then the pathways kind of become locked in to using that pathway. And you can kind of look at that with addiction in general. It's a large part of it is a matter of very strong um, grooved pathways in our system that are so used to using these systems that it becomes hard to um, not use them. But of course, like over time, like it can wear on you to like use these systems perpetually when they're not when they're not meant to be used perpetually. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It's like if we're used to that, we want more of it. And we end up creating that like unconsciously. So let's do some EFT and some theta around that. We'll start at the karate chop point. So even though I'm so used to being stressed out, being sad, being in struggle, and I recognize that I might actually be addicted to it. Sometimes I thrive off of that adrenaline rush. It helps me get things done. It makes life exciting. Or, you know, sometimes it just really sucks to always be in struggle. But I'm so used to it that I don't really know any other way to be. I'm so used to being sad, or struggling, or stressing. And I don't even recognize that because I'm so used to it, I end up unconsciously seeking it out in my life. I unconsciously seek out drama and chaos because it's familiar to me. But even though I'm addicted to struggle, to fighting, to striving, or to being sad, I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. I need to learn that it's okay to just be, to have things go well, to be at peace, and that that's not boring. I need to let my system know that it's okay to, to relax and to let go of these well-worn grooves and pathways in my brain and my body. It's okay to let go of the stress and the striving and the sadness. It's okay to create some new pathways for peace. And that it's not boring. I can live life 
and have find excitement and peace and happiness rather than chaos and drama and fighting because I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. I'm ready to be at peace. I'm ready to live a drama-free life. I'm ready to stop striving and to just be. Because I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. <sighs> I'll try the tapping here. Okay, some theta downloads. If you uh, believe in a higher power, you can just say yes after you hear them, and it will be downloaded for you unless you have some resistance, which will require some deeper digging. Okay. Hmm. So if you would like to release the addiction to fighting and replace it with unconditional love, just say yes. That you know how to live, it is safe to live, it is possible to live, um, worthy and deserving of living, um, you're allowed to live, and you know how to, and you do this already, which is to live without struggle, fighting, chaos, or drama. If you'd like to download those, just say yes. <sighs> Heat your system. Um, that it's how to just be, it's safe to just be, and how to discern between when to be in parasympathetic versus when to be in sympathetic. And parasympathetic is the relaxed state and sympathetic is the stressed out state. And what happens is when you are, you know, always stressed out, your system's kind of like always on sympathetic. So I'll repeat that down again. So if you'd like to teach your system that it's safe to just be and be at peace and how to discern between when to be in sympathetic and parasympathetic, then just say yes. <sighs> you know how to, you're safe, worthy, and deserving of, it is possible to, you're allowed to, you live a day-to-day -day life, and you do this now, which is to live in peace and just be. If you like to download Download those and just say yes. <sighs> okay, I hope that was helpful and I'll catch you at the next video. Goodbye.